Cedar Point's 2023 season wasn't more than 24 hours in the books before they started getting you excited for the 2024 season. On Monday, October 30th, Cedar Point released their 2024 calendar. So what I'm going to do is go over some of the highlights, the opening date, hollow weekends, um, and whenever the park starts being open later in the season, any sort of highlights that I think are important to people. I'm going to go over. So let's get into it. Let's go over to their calendar and right away pops up October. And as you can see, it just ended. And now we have to click through all these months where there's no Cedar Point. It's really depressing whenever you look at it this way. It's like whenever you start typing through everything. But you get all the way to May 2024 and you see May 4th, 10 a.m. to 8 p.m., Star Wars Day, may the 4th be with you. That is the day that Cedar Point is going to open. But here we are in May of 2024, opening date, all set. Uh, a couple things to point out. If you see Tuesday and Wednesday, the first couple weeks, those are grayed out because they've been doing this lately. Because of staffing, they haven't opened Tuesdays and Wednesdays in May. Kind of grown accustomed to that also grown accustomed to the 8 p.m. closing for quite some time even on Fridays and Saturdays you see and that changes on Friday May 24th whenever Fridays and Saturdays goes to 10 p.m. so that's the first time that you start to get to the park a little you get to stay at the park a little bit later maybe get a couple night rides in and 10 p.m. is only Fridays and Saturdays until you get into June and then what was it yes June 17th is the first day where all week is 10 p.m. so it doesn't matter Monday Tuesday Wednesday you see 10 p.m. 10 p.m. and weekends 10 p.m. and it stays that way until Fridays and Saturdays goes to 11 p.m which takes place in July, July 5th. So the first weekend in July, you get the 11 p.m. closing times. Weekdays stay at 10 p.m. as you can see. And it goes that way all through July and a good part through August, uh, August 19th, yeah. So August 19th, it goes back down to more of an early season schedule. So you have 8 p.m. closings all during the week. And then Fridays and Saturdays drop down to 10 p.m. So you don't have to worry too much because it's not like they go all the way down to 8 p.m. as well. They just drop an hour from 11 p.m. to 10 p.m. And then as usual, Labor Day is the official closing date. And that is uh, this next year, it's going to be uh, September 2nd. And then they always are closed for the next few days, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. They're always closed right after Labor Day. And then they have what we always call like kind of like the odd weekend. They have Saturday and Sunday open, which isn't hollow weekends yet, but it's kind of like in between their regular season and hollow weekends. And then here you have Thursday the 12th that begins Hollow Weekends and we're very, very excited to see that they are keeping the Thursdays. It seems like now it's been a few years, so it seems like that is here to stay. The first year that they had Thursdays added onto the calendar and all day Fridays. I was kind of unsure if they were gonna keep anything like that. I was kind of thinking maybe it would be like a one year thing and then get rid of it. But no, it seems like it's here to stay because it used to be Fridays was 6 p.m. to 12 a.m. And Thursdays were closed. So the only actual full day of Halloween weekends that you had was Saturday. Saturday, 11 a.m. to 12 a.m. Because Sundays, they close at 8 p.m. So they close a little early. So Saturdays was the only full day. Now you get Fridays and Saturdays as full days and you get a part day Thursday and a part day Sunday. So that is much better. We are so happy that they went with that and stuck with that. And we can look ahead to a year from now, basically, and see that the closing date is October 27th, 2024. 
So on October 28th, we're going to be like, oh my God, where did the year go? I can't believe it's done already. Top Thrill 2, oh my God, I either loved it or I hated it or whatever. So that is it with their calendar. Um, none of this goes over any sort of events that they have, like that Frontier Festival that they usually have at the beginning of every year. Uh, um, Halloween is the only thing that really is set in stone pretty much. Cedar Point Nights used to happen throughout, like, I think the end of July and, and through parts of August or something like that. They got rid of that this past year. So this is just the calendar. This doesn't have anything to do with any of those special events. So you'll have to wait until the season gets closer to find out anything like that. So I can't wait for May 4th. Got the countdown began. If you're not a subscriber already, please go down and subscribe like the video. Also, while you're down there, you can go into the description and there's a link to a channel membership page. And you can be like one of these people right here that joined our channel membership. They get things like exclusive videos, exclusive shout outs, exclusive pictures, things like that. And they help the channel oh so much. So if you want to take part in that, you can go down and check out, check that out and see what that's all about. We'd appreciate it a ton. So that's it for this video. See you guys right here next time on Beach Cliff Studios.